Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to Let's Play Bloodborne on Sony PlayStation 4. Last time, we chased the boss around for a while, and that was mostly it, really. And then we discovered a way to farm Blood Echoes. Uh, you might have noticed that at the end of the last episode, I had about 200,000, and then right now, we're sitting at about a cool million. These guys give about 7,500 per pop, the way we showed it last time. However, I've discovered a way to get double that from each one. It's not going to work every single time because you have to get two visceral attacks off on them. But if you do, you get about forty-five to 50,000 blood echoes for about a minute and a half of work here. So, yeah. It's real nice. And I'm not going to use any levels on these uh, blood echoes. I'm just going to buy blood echo or blood vials, bullets, uh, equipment, and any bloodstone shards or anything like that. Also, these guys drop twin bloodstone shards uh, reasonably often, and they also have a very small chance to drop three twin shards at the same time. So, yeah, I've got 57 blood echoes, and that was after I went ahead and spent the time to upgrade my Tenitrus to plus six, because I thought that would work out good on him. But, frankly, I actually want a lower damage weapon for what I'm about to do here. Uh, so the Blades of Mercy are excellent because they're fast and they're not doing a whole lot of damage. Threaded Cane is also very fast with a Charge R2 and not going to do a lot of damage because it's not upgraded. So either one of those works. So what you want to do is you want to just keep going this way. And you want to be reasonably careful because sometimes the guy in the way back over there, he'll notice you and come join the fun. So right over here, you want this guy to notice you. You want to get behind him. You want to visceral attack him, so he lands, you know, still in the area, so you get another visceral, visceral attack, and you want to get a visceral attack immediately. Oh, it didn't work on this guy, because he turned around too fast, because I was going slow. Yeah, there's that three twin bloodstone shards, which is real nice. I think it's like an 8% chance for him to drop it, whereas the regular twin shards are about 25% chance. Alright, so... I want you to come over this way. Alright, and for this guy, you want to drag him back here, because if not, the damage from the thing upstairs will make it so you can't do two visceral attacks on him, and you only get the, the base 7,500 visceral uh, blood echoes from him. Yeah, see, even that little bit of damage, he almost didn't have enough, and we still didn't get him because, well, he turned around a little too fast. And that's why you want a quick uh, a weapon with a quick charged R2 here. This guy for sure I should be able to get my, my two attacks here. But let's see. Here. Alright. Okay. That didn't work either. However, I'm determined to show you guys that they will get 15,000. Or 14,500 ish. Uh, if you want, if you want to just do the suicide trick here, and make sure they don't pick up your blood echoes. Uh, run over here and either jump off this cliff or this elevator, uh, but you want to wait about 10 seconds. That way, the game has enough time to up update your location and put your blood echoes over here instead of near the enemies, because if they put it near the enemies, uh, one of those guys will actually pick up your blood echoes, and you'll have to kill them. I mean, granted, they're not terribly hard, as we were seeing here, but... Frankly, I'd rather just pick them up off the floor. That way, if I feel like I don't need to kill them anymore, then I'm fine. Yeah, we're going to try to get these guys with actually getting the double blood echoes. I don't know if it's like a glitch with the, the runes that I have on or something. But yeah, getting two visceral attacks gets me double the gets me double the blood echoes. I'm assuming if you are able to do more visceral attacks, then you can get more. But at the moment... I am too strong, so I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Alright, so this guy, he is noticing me. I think the other guy might be paying attention to us. But... No, okay, we're good. So yeah, you wanna get your you wanna get your second visceral attack off behind them real fast. Because if you don't, well you'll probably just kill them or they'll turn around or something. I want this guy to come over here. Come on. This way. Yeah, we're not going to get a second visceral attack on this guy because he's moving slow. Uh, you will be able to destroy that source of insight or frenzy, I mean. 
Um, and that'll make it easier because they won't be taking damage from the environment. They'll only be taking damage from you. But I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but when I killed that guy with the second visceral attack, the first one, we got 1,400, 5,000-ish compared to the other guy, we only got, you know, the 7,500. Yeah, you get plenty of blood echoes and twin shards this way, so I like it. Let's go ahead and spend our million blood echoes here, and let's go ahead and continue on from there. Like I said, I'm not going to use this for any levels. Uh, plus, I'm going to come back to farm what it goes after we get the final rune that gives even more experience. Uh, it's an it's additional 10%, so not, not the best, but it's good enough for me. Uh, first, let's go ahead and put our other runes back on. Let's see. We don't care about you at the moment. Uh, we care about you. We don't care about you. So for the moment, let's just go ahead with... Stamina and trying to trying to figure out what we're doing coming up here. Uh, eh, never hurts to have a chance to get extra items. Sure, extra experience, stamina, items. I'll take it. Really, we're fine with whatever we have, though. Alright, so, let's go ahead and buy some stuff here. First off, let's go ahead and buy, uh, let's see, where is it? We want the Chicago for 50000 We'll go over this momentarily. Uh, let's see, we also want, I think that's it from here. I think that's most of the weapons from here. Uh, let's see, we have most of the stuff here, except for possibly the Rosemarinus, I think. Let me see here. Yeah, we need the Rosemarinus, and I think that's it. Pistol, Blunderbuss, Pistol, Rifle, Evelyn. Pistol, Blunderbuss, Pistol, Rifle, Evelyn. We have the cannon, we have the flame sprayer. Yeah, so we just need the Rosemarinus for 60,000, which is a bit much, but if you have an arcane build, <coughs> this will actually do wonders for you. Buy the Gold Ardeo for 60,000. The rest of the cane hearth set for a fair amount here. And I think that's good right there. Let me make sure if there's anything up here that I may or may not have forgotten about from the Insight Shop. I don't think there is, but there might be something here. No. I thought there might be a chalice or something there. Um, we could buy some Twin Shards here, or we could buy them with... We could buy them with... Uh, Echoes there. Uh, nothing I care about right there at the moment. Alright, so let's just go ahead and spend a fat chunk of this on blood vials. Yeah, look at that. Uh, 383 for 275,000. We are full on blood vials at the moment. And same thing with Quicksilver bullets. Yes, yes, yes. I can deal with that. Uh, we could stock up on some... No, not... I don't want the rope molotovs. I want the regular molotovs. Which... Yeah, might as well grab them just to have them. Let's see, oil urns. We could buy enough to fill up that, too. That'd be real nice. Not terribly worried about it, but it's there. Throwing knives. Let's see. How many we can get 30 twin shards, or we can just go ahead and kind of max out our regular... Or maybe not max out, but we get a fair amount of our regular bloodstone shards just to get everything up to plus three. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and get... So let's get about. So you need you need sixteen for any any tier here. So uh, let me see here. Let me see like sixteen times like five or six. So eighty. Yeah, let's just go with like ninety six. That way, anything we get will be have enough to pump up there. Uh, twin chars, we can buy 11. Fuck it, why not? Let's go. Virtual blood, I don't care. Yeah, we could eventually get the Hunter Chief Emblem, but that doesn't carry over into a new game, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Uh, let's see, anything else I care about here? Pebbles are always good. We already have them, though. Coins, I don't care because I have enough of them. 
Bolt Hunter's Mark. Let me grab a couple of those, why not? And there we go. We have spent a million Blood Echoes and got a, not a lot from it, but whatever. Actually, we got a fair amount from it, but still. Uh, let's go ahead and pop on our Gold Ardeo here. Yeah, I'll get that thing. It is literally just a... Looks like there's a sack under it. I can't tell if that's the... Okay, yeah, that's there's a sack under it. And then you got the triangle head on top of it. Cool. Then we also never... I don't think we ever tried out on our, our cage hat here. There you go. It's called the cage. Luke Cage. Yeah, boy. That's just so stupid. I love it, but it's so stupid. Uh, Stat-wise, it is... Not that great for anything except possibly physical. And then the Gold Ardeo is pretty decent overall, actually. It's not bad. But let's also check out the Canehurst set here. Now that we got the whole thing. I think the Canehurst set looks the most like a... Looks the most like a like set of armor in the game here. Yeah, not too shabby. Got the cape on one side, like a matador or something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some of our weapons here that we got. Let's see. Uh, Chikagi, and then there was... That's pretty much it for the moment. Yeah, okay, Chikagi is... You know, I didn't actually save any Blood Echoes for any leveling up our weapons. So let's go kill these guys again real fast, because we're going to... We're going to want to level up some of our weapons here. I should have thought about that. Yeah, if you have patience, spend an hour spend an hour or so farming these guys the way I'm doing it. And then just buy all your basic shards and twin shards. And any weapon you get, you'll have a fair amount enough to, you know, level them up all the way. And that's not what I was trying to do. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we, he still has enough to get hit again. Perfect. Twin shards there. I took off my my uh, thing there. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I think I'm still getting the regular amount of... I think I'm getting the regular amount of Echoes from just a regular Visceral Attack room. Because I took off the Visceral Attack room. Uh, gives extra experience. And I think now we're just getting the regular Visceral Attack experience. Because if we just kill this guy with... Regular Attacks now, will we get 4,000 again? Yeah, okay. So it, has, it, it apparently has something to do with the Visceral Attack to give extra... Experience room. I don't know if it's because I had two of them on or something like that, but I think it's just having one of them on will will do it. I mean, I can look it up and see if there's a documented case of it happening, but I'm not terribly worried about it. I just want the what I goes for quick. Ooh, there are three twin shards. Nice. Yeah, if you you can also put on runes to give yourself more item discovery, but frankly, I want the extra experience, so I'm good either way. And if you just spend the blood echoes you get on the on the stuff, you're good to go. All right, so yeah, let's go level. Up, let's go level up some weapons real fast, just because. I mean, I'm probably not going to use some of these terribly often here. Let's see, Chikage. Yes, yeah, go ahead and go up here, and keep an eye on the skill and the blood tinge for this weapon. Notice how it's at D and B already. And now it's at C and A. And then, okay, it's still a C and A. I think at the final rank at plus 10, it'll end up as... Oh, I didn't mean to put it to plus 7. Oh, oh well. Yeah, at the final rank, it'll be, uh, I think, B scaling in skill, and then S scaling in blood tinge. And then, let's see here, anything else we want to... Yeah, let's go put the little Gary Swill up a bit, why not? There you go. Yeah, that's already at an A scaling in strength right there. That's not too shabby. Let's see, anything else we want to put up here? Anything else? Threaded cane, I'm going to leave you there because, well, I like you being down there. Uh, do I care about the rider polish? Uh, not really. 
but it's there, I guess. There we go. Everything except for the threaded cane is at plus. Is that plus uh, six? So I can deal with that. Now we can use them whenever we want to. Awesome. All right. Anyways, with the Chikagi here, this is a interesting weapon. So you saw that it scaled with skill and blood tinge. Uh, what that means, though, is for this particular weapon, is the skill scaling applies to the normal form. The blood tinge scaling applies to the transformed mode. You want to keep that in mind. Uh, physical damage in the normal mode, and then when you transform it, then you'll get the uh, the blood damage off it. And blood damage will knock off the dogs and other other critters weak to blood tinge. Notice how we are losing health per second here? Yeah, that's a property of the of the uh, Chicago here, that you lose health per second. Uh, it seems to be about 1% or so, maybe a little less. But it's not it's not like massive. But it will it will take down. And if you do your charge guard too, uh, did, did you do it? Yeah, if you do the charge R2, you'll you'll lose a bunch of health during the during the charge phase. So you want to be careful about that. But yeah, good blood tinge scaling weapon. Uh, there are better ones, I think, in the DLC, but for the moment, this is what you get. But yeah, it's a nice little fast one-handed sword katana, and then comes a two-handed two-handed blood tinge katana when it becomes transformed, so not too shabby. Uh, I want to use it eventually, just to try it out a little bit, but for now, uh, I don't want to use it until we actually have better stats for it, because at the moment we're sitting at 16 blood tinge, which is okay, but not really great. So, anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. Um, is there anything else here that I wanted to look at besides the Takagi? I don't think there is. Oh yeah, we could look at the we could look at the Flame Sprayer and the Rose Marinus, which I did not remember to level up, but whatever. Okay, so the Rose Marinus. This is this is the weapon that we've seen a couple enemies use, and it basically spits out a fine little spray as long as you hold the button down. And this scales off of your arcane. I don't think this ever gets a a slot for a slot for uh, gems, or if it does, it only gets like one. But yeah, the flame sprayer didn't get it, so I don't think this will get it either. So it's just going to be based purely on your purely on your uh, arcane stat there, and it will it will have lower base damage than the flame sprayer, but also it starts off with a B scaling and arcane, and I think it ends up at an S scaling or a really high A scaling, whereas the flamethrower ends up at a, like a C or maybe a B or something like that. So yeah, the Rose Meredith has lower base damage, but it'll get more damage in the long run because of the scaling there. And it will use, it will use bullets as you hold the button down, so you want to watch out for that. But it's not too bad if you need an arcane gun. I'm not terribly worried about it, but it's there. Uh, we haven't up we haven't upgraded our hunter pistol in like a while. Um, but again, I forget what I said. I think I said the Ludwig's rifle ends up better at higher blood tinge. Actually, I need to check that because I don't remember off the top of my head right now. Let's see. Yeah, whichever one ends up higher, we'll use eventually because I do want to get to at least 22 blood tinge here just to have it, so I can have. You know, awesomeness. All right, let's see. Ludwig's rifle. Well, actually, uh, no. The Ludwig's rifle is the uh, shotgun version. I was thinking of the Evelyn. And yeah, the Evelyn will be stronger after twenty-two. I think. Uh, let's see, you're open. Where'd it go? Uh, 
Yeah, I think the Evelyn's the one I'm thinking about that will eventually be stronger than the Hunter Pistol. Yeah, so once you get to 22 Blood Tinge, the Evelyn will be a little stronger. And frankly, I still need a couple more Blood Tinge to use it, so never mind. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and... We have our... Alright, let's go ahead and continue on here. Yeah, we spent a bit of time dicking around here, but you know what? We'll, we'll survive. Anyways, let's go back to Mergo's Loft, the middle, which is right after... Right after killing a Chasey Man. And let's continue on. And eventually we will we will be able to get rid of the source of frenzy that we've been seeing here. But there are also enemies coming up that will inflict frenzy, and they suck. By the way, I was looking at some uh, stats on weapons and such, and just like uh, the various status is. I assumed that Rapid Poison was like a faster version of Slow Poison. No, Rapid Poison is basically Frenzy, but it's poison. So it's, you build it up with attacks, and then you take a chunk of damage. And I think you take less damage than Frenzy, but a lot of, uh, a lot of weapons don't inflict it. There's only a couple that do. I think the Chikagi actually does inflict Rapid dam uh, Rapid Poison. Um, matter of fact, let's go ahead. I think I don't know if it does it. Uh, there's a bell ringing bitch here. Crap. I, I don't know if it does it in the base form or the in the transformed mode. I think it's the transformed mode. Matter of fact, yeah. Let's 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 use it for a little bit. I'm probably not going to be using it for terribly long because we don't have great blood tinge for it. But fuck it, let's go. Yeah, see, the dogs don't like this. It'll knock them down, and they're not going to be terribly happy about it. I'm going to go ahead and get back to the regular version here for a minute. And kill the... Kill the birdies. Yeah, you want you want, to, you want to realize that you do not get the skill scaling in transformed mode with this, and you do not get the blood scaling with the untransformed mode with this. So you want to be careful Okay, that's just going to keep knocking you down. So while it will be effective on them, it'll also be kind of annoying just knocking them down all the time. So you want to watch out for that. All right, need more bloodstone chunks. Nice. Uh, there is a way in the DLC to get uh, as many bloodstone chunks as you want, and it will take farming. It's not just like a it's not just like a do it once and get a billion blood echoes. No, you actually have to spend a fair amount of time getting however many you want. So I'll probably be using that uh, just to save time for farming purposes. Oh, and there are those dudes right there, which I don't want to deal with. Ooh, and this right here. Actually, I think that'll get us to where we want to go right away, right? Okay, you're not operable. That's fine. Yeah, this is actually something we can do right now. I think we can get rid of the frenzy, the frenzy source right now. It's not going to be easy, but we can. So, first off, we want to go ahead and go down here. And on the way down, you'll notice there's something to drop into. Good luck. That is a dick and a half to get into. I mean, you'll get it eventually, but good luck with it. Uh, I want to find something to rapid poison here. Well, it's not going to work on these guys, because these guys don't have that much health. Oh, well. Anyways. Let's go ahead and try our best to roll into that hole. It's not going to be easy. You're probably going to die several times, so don't come in here with too many blood echoes. I only have 10,000, and that's not that's not much, so it's fine. I did it on my first try. Oh uh, yeah, you basically have to time that roll right there real carefully. I can't really give you too many hints because everyone has their own sense of timing about these type of things. And yeah, good luck with it. And we're going to go back to an actual weapon here that, besides Chikagi because I'm not trying to die to these guys right here. Uh, inflicted Organ. Ooh, that's for a... That's for a rite in Holy Chalice Rituals. Special special body parts collected by the Healing Church. What was this gruesome bait used to lure? 
Beckett's ungodly forces, normally terrifying things, but also worthy prey for a special hunt. Okay, yeah, so there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and Kirk Hammer or something like that. Uh, you want to make sure if you have any sedatives, you want to pop those bad boys onto the quick bar here because we're going to be running into some frenzy-inducing stuff. I could have put my frenzy rune on, but I completely forgot. Alright, so. Yeah, these guys right here, these guys are called Winter Lanterns. They suck. They look at you, and they inflict frenzy. They don't have to. They don't have to hit you to hit inflict frenzy. They just look at you, and they do, and I'm dead. And now I'm not gonna. Now I'm not gonna make that jump ever again. Watch. Let's try this again. Um, I'm tempted to go put on the Frenzy Resist rune. Yeah, I think I'm going to go do that real fast. It's, it's, it's worth it against these Winter Lanterns. Just because as long as, there's look, as long as they're looking at you, you will be getting Frenzy build up. So you want to be careful about that. And they'll show up later in the DLC. And not that much in Chalice Dungeons, I don't think. But yeah, they'll, they'll show up in... The DLC, at least, and they're kind of a pain in the ass. All right, there we go. That pumps up our frenzy resist again. All right, cool. We're good to go. I forgot that we ha have armor with better frenzy resist. Let's see. Let's see, you're at 13. I saw one with 19. The gray wolf. I saw one with 32. What's up? I saw one with 40. Okay. You think I would recognize which ones are the best off the top of my head? 60. Alright, so Ashen Hunter. I think the Ashen Hunter might be the best overall set. And I think we've discovered this before. Except for, like, maybe the, the, the Beak Mask. Yeah, Ashen Hunter again. And then... The chard is Hunter Trousers actually. Yeah, Ashen Hunter. Okay, cool. So that puts our Frenzy Resist back up to 458. We're good. Alright, let's try this again. Where goes loft middle. And let's hope that we don't die on our way back to the Winter Lanterns, because we probably will. Yeah, I'll try to use the Chikagi once I have more blood tinge for it. Same thing with any weapons that require arcane. Once we get more of that, I'll be sure to try to put them to use. I don't know if we're actually going to be terribly worried about getting invaded here. Like, yeah, there's a bell ringing chick, but I don't think she's going to be causing too many problems. And I think we have to wait for yay old elevator, don't we? Yes, we do. No, oh, actually, no, it's right here. Cool. I'm not sure, but I think the... Yeah, I think the elevator is actually easier to... The elevator might actually be easier to use on the way going up. Uh, again, again, whatever works for you, works for you. Some people will do better on the way down. Some people will do better on the way up. This is definitely one of the more irritating parts of this level. I mean, the whole level is irritating. But this is one of the more irritating parts if you're trying to get to, like, the side stuff. Because it is optional over there. Um, oh, apparently we don't have to wait for it to come back up. That's awesome. And I was trying to get back in there, but eh, I fucked up. Huh. I didn't realize there was a second one coming back up. If there is, I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe if we die on the way down, it doesn't go all the way up. 
Or it doesn't go all the way down. That's always a possibility. Yeah, see with with uh, the way I try to go down the way down right there, I think my character just tried to jump. So I'm gonna wait for, I'm gonna actually take the time, wait until we get down, and then climb back up that way. All right, let's try this one more time here. Actually, we'll try this as many times as it takes, but still, I'm gonna say one more time every time we try because, you know. Required by law. I don't have a choice in the matter. Yeah, I've seen people come to this area with like 30,000 blood echoes or something stupid like that, and they just lose them immediately because they can't make this jump. And frankly, I can see why they don't make that jump. Yeah, you want to not be too happy with your with your echoes while you're here because frenzy everywhere a dastardly and bastardly jump to make okay that's much easier coming up that's much easier on the way up okay so forget what I said about your timing just use my timing of on the way up because it seems to work out pretty good all right and you are going to I was trying to, uh, I was trying to do my charge attack, but that didn't work out for me. Alright, there we go. We're set. Let's heal. And I managed to use my frenzy to resist item right as I died. Okay. Cursed tempering gem damp blood gemstone. I think this is the first time we've seen it. Cursed gem. So cursed gems are actually pretty awesome, and they can also be kind of crap, but they're also pretty awesome. Uh, the main reason for that is because where is it? Cursed tempering damp blood gemstone. We get a really nice effect, and then we also get one of six curses. Uh, the six curses that I remember off the top of my head are attack versus beast down, attack versus kin down, uh, HP. No, attack versus beast down, attack versus kin down, just general attack down. Um, stamina cost up, uh, weapon durability down, and I think maybe HP, yeah, I think maybe HD, HP continues to uh, go down. Uh, so, something like that, that we got just beast down or whatever, you pop that in a weapon that you're going to use against a specific, like, kin boss, like the, um... Amygdala, I think I think she's counted as kin or something like that, and you never use it against a, you never use it against a dog or something. And you're good to go. Some some of the some of the cursed blood gemstones are better than others because the the stamina increase cost it's like usually one percent or something stupid like that, and yeah, you barely even notice it. Uh, the cursed uh, the one that does the extra the extra um. the extra durability, that makes it so you're basically losing a point of durability every hit, which is kind of stupid, but, you know, whatever. And you're over there. Wow, our frenzy is still going up pretty good here. I thought it would have gone down. Let's just go ahead and heal up here, and let's go ahead and... Ooh, that charged R2 and the R2 follow-up works pretty good on there. Okay, we have plenty of Quicksilver bullets. I'm okay. Tempering Damp, Blood Gemstone. That's awesome. And the other one didn't drop anything. We're good. Alright, so we got past those guys pretty easily. And those were the three that are going to cause problems out here because they're right on the run. Oh, you remember Patches the Spider? He has little friends. Except these guys are worse because they have bowl cuts. 
Yeah, these are basically the spiders from earlier, except they have human faces with uh, prior style bowl cuts for some god awful reason. Okay, I'm not sure what the point of the bull cup being is, but it's there. It's probably just to, you know, terrorize you even more, because getting attacked by a spider, creepy enough. If the spider is going to start spouting hymns at you while sporting a bull cut, you run. You run quick, you run fast. What else we got here? I know there's a part with another winter lantern coming up, and it sucks. But we should be okay here. Let's see what we got here. Treasure waits ahead. Actually, yes, that is treasure for later. But I think this right here, this is what you want. You want to come this way. You want to operate this device. You want to knock that chain down. Now you don't have to worry about passive frenzy in the area. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. Uh, going, to that, going to that and knocking that guy off makes it so your passive frenzy days are over. I don't know if I can poison this guy. I'm going to try. But uh, if I can, that'd be great. Okay, we can poison him. That's good. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and wait here for him to die. I don't know if it's actually going to work out terribly well for me here. But I'm gonna keep waiting until he dies. Actually, you know what? I don't know how I don't know how well Molotov cocktails do against these guys. But let's find out. Apparently, not that effective, like at all. That does basically nothing to them. Wow. Uh, what about the regular knives? We have a grand total of four of those. Okay, he's still taking damage. So this is a slower way of dealing with these guys, but it'll still kill him if you have enough uh, poison knives for him, which I think... No, he's still taking damage. He's still good. You could also just go ahead and try for some regular shots here, which not the best, but it works. And there you go. He's dead. Sedative up, just to be on the safe side. I remember the. I think I might have. I think I might have been in the Chalice Dungeons prior to this, and therefore I think I might have had even better frenzy resist than I have right now. So I think I. I think I had less problems with this area on my original playthrough, which is something I've been spouting off quite a lot. But it happens to be the truth. So, oh well. Anyways, let's go ahead and go over here now. Let's try not to fall down. Because that would suck. I've had enough falling down in the Mario games recently. Or the Mario game, even. The one that we played. More bullets. And this is... I don't think anything useful. Oh, actually, this is useful. I remember this. The Choir Bell. This is a hunter item that is actually very useful if you do co-ops. Invigorates all cooperating parties, healing them. For the low cost of 15 arcane, you get a small area effect heal. Special hunter tools acquire high ranking members of the church, fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence. The sound of the smaller silver version of the bell does not cross planes, but grants vigor and healing to all cooperators. I don't think it recovers that much, especially not at your base 15 arcane required to use it, but it will actually do a pretty good job of just like topping, topping off somebody. And even if you're not in a, a party, you can still use it to heal. Uh, you just have to have the requisite, requisite uh, what is it, seven Quicksilver bullets. And it will scale with your, with your uh, arcane stat. Matter of fact, let me see if I can't find this thing and tell you how much it, tell you guys how much it will heal you for. I might as well. Well, that's what I'm here for. Uh, let's see you. Items. Uh, let's see. Arcane items. Choir bell. 
Okay, so at the base 15, you'll get about 440 healing. At 25, you'll get 513 healing. At 50 arcane, you'll have 880 healing. And if you max out your arcane at 99, you'll get 1200 healing. So, honestly, if you're running an arcane build, that's pretty decent healing if you... Uh, if you need like 800 healing or something at 50 arcane, that's not too shabby. I mean, you can only use it so many times with your with your uh, blood vials, but yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Uh, now, as for getting to... We can get to where that thing fell down from, and I think this might be it over here, actually. Yes, this is potentially where we need to go. Great One's Wisdom, Arcane Damp Blood Gem... Great One's Wisdom. Yeah, it's going to be a slightly longer episode just to get everything out of the way here. Let's see. Great One's Wisdom. I think we've had Great One's Wisdom before. They give multiple insight. Did we... Where are we anyways? Did we just go through the other door of this area? I thought we I thought we came back from the path that we were at earlier. Let me just check. Just be on the safe side here. This was the door we came in from. Huh? Oh, that's right. We already dropped down from somewhere. I forgot about that other drop down that we had earlier. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and continue on real fast. I don't think there's that many winter lanterns around this particular area. Uh, by the way, that's where we want to go uh, momentarily for something. But for now, let me see. I think, I think we're getting close to the soul blood rock of the game to upgrade your weapon to plus 10, which I think would be right now. Advanced knowledge. Because there is a blood rock in this area. I just don't remember exactly where it's at. This goes over... Ooh, iron door key. This is actually, I think, a shortcut to... Yeah, it's in Mikolash's area. I was looking for that during the fight, but I couldn't find it. I mean, in case you want to go back to Mikolash's area, go for it. I don't see any real reason for it unless you have a shortcut over there. But frankly, I don't really care. Ah, are you what I'm looking for? Damp blood tinge gem. Blood tinge. Blood tinge gem. Tier five. Tier five. I know there's a rock around here somewhere. It might be still a little further along. Uh, let's see. No, not down there. Either way, let's go. Actually, it might be in here, actually. Well, we have to go here anyway, so let's go. Let's see. Anything up here in the top? No, I think it's all falling down. Actually, I think that might be the rock right there. Blood rock. Yeah. Large, solid chunk that forms in cold blood. After death, substance in the blood hardens, and that which does not crystallize is called a bloodstone. This is no mere chunk. It is nearly a boulder. Few bloodstones of such size have ever been discovered, even considering the combined experience of all the hunters. Eventually, after you defeat a certain boss coming up, you'll be able to buy this for insight. You know how much you're going to have to pay for this thing, though? 60 insight per blood rock. Yeah, you heard me right. 60. So... Frankly, once we get the ability to go into... Oh, this, okay, so that's right. Once we get the ability to go into Chalice Dungeons, I will go ahead and make sure that you guys have ways of getting... Blood Rocks from those. I think right here you just kind of jump down, right? No. I thought there was a way to get down here. There's supposed to be like an elevator. Eh, yeah, yeah, I remember what I missed. I remember what I missed. As a matter of fact, we're going to go do that right now and then finish the episode. Uh, first off, though, uh, let's go ahead and go to right here. And let's go ahead and get rid of... Sh sh for uh, the... 
make contact guess through there. That'll be very useful for us. Uh, we actually want to go to... Hmm, where is it? We want to go to... Actually, this works. Okay, let's go over here, take the cage down. We want to go to where the little dudes and the fat lady was attacking us uh, when we first went into the area. Uh, after the spiders. I told you to remember that area because there was going to be something going on there. And yeah, we're going to go to that right now. And this will get you basically the final set. Or not the final set, but the final... The final eye rune. To give you more experience from regular kills. I don't think there's any difference in the dialogue, it's just gonna give you 10% more experience than the last one. So you're gonna get 30% more. Which will make farming those other dudes even easier, because now you don't have to worry about the eye killing them before you get a chance to kill them. And it's real nice. Alright. I'm not even worried about the 50,000 blood echoes, because I can just get that from these guys real fast. I mean, if we get them back later, great. If not, I'm not terribly worried about it. I might get them back off screen, but at the same time, I don't really care. Camera, why do you do this? Yeah, right, so we want to find... Get rid of you. Yeah, we want to go right over this way. Uh, the elevator that we're going to take here actually shows up after defeating Mikolash, so you don't have to worry about it not being there as long as you've beat Mikolash, which if you're going to go after this thing that fell down there, then yeah, you've probably beaten Mikolash already. And if not, well, there's something wrong. View. Ow. Goodbye, lady. You have a good day. Uh, you don't give me anything, thanks, I appreciate that. Okay, so that's the cage right there. It wasn't there before, but it is now. And we want to go ahead and head in there in order to... have an audience with that thing that was frenzying us. It's not going to be frenzy frenzying us anymore, thankfully. But... Yeah, it's just kind of hanging out down there. And if your TV is really dark, uh, you should be able to see where it's at anyways, just by following these little messages if you're playing online. And yeah, the, the torch light doesn't actually do a whole lot here. So you can see it, you can see what everyone else is doing here. Remember contact. So with this thing, yeah, it's just going to be watching you with his weird creepy eyes. I guess the torch helps a little bit, but yeah, it's just pure dark down here. It's just a, a mass of eyes everywhere. Look at this. This thing is the worst. But basically, you come down here, you stare it in the eye, and you make contact. And then you wait for about a minute or so. You'll know it's you'll know it's happened, because you'll get the rune that you get from this, and also something else will happen with your hunter. And I didn't realize this was 50 minutes. I thought it was more like less than 50 minutes. But oh well. But yeah, just uh, keep making contact here. Just don't touch anything. And eventually...
one of these days. Your hunter changes arm positions. And there we go. You got the final moon rune. And that is the one with 30% instead of like 10 or 20. So, very nice. And I think it just, I think it's just brighter than the other ones. Let's see here. Yes. Oh, actually, it's got a little shiny on it. Okay, fair enough. And now, this guy's caused us enough problems. So you put him out of his misery. And he actually has a fair chunk of health for being a stationary dead eyeball thing. I don't know why he's not trying to frenzy us here, but Frank, thankfully he's not, so I can deal with that. I'm actually curious if this guy is immune to rapid poison or not, because if he isn't... Oh, I was trying to figure out why my Chicago wouldn't come out. Alright, so let's go with that. And let's see if we can't get some poison built up here. Yeah, he might be immune to it, I'm not sure. He's not taking any damage from it, that's for sure. Or either he's immune to it, or he has very high resistance to it. I think the uh, charge dart 2 actually does a fair bit of buildup for it. Maybe the uh, the L2 as well, which is actually not too shabby. Come on, give me the poison. Yeah, he must be resistant to it. Yeah, he would have been he would have been uh, poisoned by then. But okay, fair enough. Just wanted to check. Uh, let's see, how are you doing against... It's about, about the same as our transform mode for the Chikagi. I put you out of your misery. And we get a living string. And a mediocre amount of blood echoes. So let's see, the Living String, I don't know if we've got that already, but that's another Chalice item. Uh, the immense brain that the Mensis retrieved from the Nightmare was indeed lined with eyes on the inside, but they were of an evil sort, and the brain itself was terribly rotten. But even still, it was a legitimate great one left a relic, a living relic of that, which is a precious thing indeed. And yeah, it's like a... I'm not sure what that is, actually. But I, me I remember watching somebody once, and they got the... where was it? Oh, we don't have it yet. Yeah, they got an item um, for a chalice dungeon, and they thought, oh, cool, and they looked at it and were like, okay, never mind. But anyways, uh, we've spent too long here. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on through Murgle's Loft, the middle area. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next episode. I might grab my blood echoes, or I might just kill the dudes over by the now frenzyless area. I'm not sure. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. See you guys next time. Bye.